everyone welcome to day number 18 of the nail art advent with kelly and karen today's theme is gifts day 18 can you believe it right i have got some madam glam gel polish this one is called bee's knees it's got a reflective glitter in it i love it a lot onto a form backing i'm gonna put about three like three or four lines of gel polish i'm not making this thick this is going to be nice and thin um, and then I'm going to cure it in the lamp. I'm just doing one to show you. I'm going to do the rest off camera. So it looks like that. That's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And when it comes out, it's going to be nice and pliable, malleable. I don't know what the word is. You're going to, we're going to be able to bend it and stuff, which is what we want, right? That's going to be a bit sticky. So probably wear gloves. Um, don't do what I do. Like, I just want to show you how bendy it is without snapping. Some of these, you some gel polishes, you might do it and they might be like quite rigid and snap. You want a gel polish that is good and bendy. Uh, and then I am, can you see I'm just twisting them around the very tip of my dotting tool. And I'm holding them there for several seconds. And then we've got like this curly whirly ribbon. Now they do ever so slightly uncurl. So do bear that in mind. But we're going to sort that out at the end, don't worry. Uh, right, so actually onto the nail. I was going to put glitter on the nail, but I thought, well, I'm actually using like a glitter gel polish so we're just going to go in with the red today this one is called sunset in florida or you can get 30 percent off any madam glam products using my code natmark30 by the way fyi uh, two coats of this and then the velvet matte top coat you can do shiny if you like shiny i just wanted to do matte because you know me <laughs> uh, then i'm going to use the gel polish that i've put on my makeshift form backing palette i'm gonna do two lights so we're gonna pretend this is the like the ribbon of of the gift this yeah so we're gonna have one vertical line and one horizontal line i was gonna have the lines connecting like not right in the center of the nail i was gonna have it like a bit higher or a bit lower but i thought because of what i'm gonna do i thought i better just keep it in the middle so that we've got a nice even distance all the way around so i'm gonna pop that in the lamp for a cure and then I've put some no wipe top coat on the little form backing as well. And I'm just going to gent carefully go over the top of the gel polish that's going to be the ribbon. Uh, this kind of nail is not going to be practical at all for someone, you know, like for a client that's going to wear it for three, two or three weeks. But if you're doing, like if you ever wanted to do something like a, a mixed media competition or just a set of 3D nails just for, for fun or something, this is just quite, I thought it was quite a nice idea. And it's something different. So can you see, right on the end of my thingy, I had some gem glue. I've just placed the gem glue on the nail and I'm using my UV torch just to cure the ribbon onto the nail. I will pop that in the lamp to give it a full cure. Can you see it's stuck to the nail now? And I'll do that with all the others. After I'd done two, I decided, I'm gonna go out a shot a little bit here. I decided to coat the actual ribbon bits with the top coat because I hadn't top coated them yet. So this is just gonna stop them from being sticky. Um, I went out a shot, so this is just me showing you that I'm covering them with top coat. Pop them in the lamp and I'll show you what happened. They kind of uncurled and stuck slightly to each other. <laughs> I still like it though. I think that it's really nice. But I do bend them a little bit myself afterwards quite gently. And they do bend into shape a bit more. So I've put that last ribbon on. These are Preciosa. I think they're Aurum. They're a kind of more darker gold. It just went better with the gel polish. I can't remember what colour the gold is. There are several different gold crystals on the Crystal Parade website for Preciosa. But go and have a look. You can get 5% off using my code NAT5. I've just placed some gem glue and one of those crystals where all the ribbons meet. I'm just going to push it down a bit more actually because it was a bit wonky. And then I will give that a full 60 second cure. And then I'm going to carefully curl the ribbons a little bit more. And that, yeah, can you see that's more like what I was going for. It's just something fun. Obviously, not going to be everyone's, you know, cup of tea. But, oh, this was with my flash on my phone. Can you see the glitter in that gel polish? is absolutely beautiful. 
Anyway, um, this is the finished nail. Don't forget now you've watched mine, go and check out Kelly and Karen's. I'll leave the links to their YouTube channels down below so you can find them. Also to the websites and the discount codes for products that I've used today will be down there below as well. Don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed this video and hit that subscribe button. God bless, love you all, and I will see you tomorrow with day number 19. Love you, bye.